Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The crates are empty. B. The vegetables are being weighed. C. The goods are on display. D. Fruit is being put into plastic bags. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. A stack of paper has been set on a table. B. A copier is being repaired by a technician. C. He's holding a door open for a co worker. D. He's positioning a sheet of paper on the glass. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. A couple is rushing into the ocean. B. A couple is folding their arms. C. A couple is walking without shoes on. D. A couple is holding their shoes. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The furniture is being moved. B. Windows have been opened. C. A plant is next to the bench. D. The bench is occupied. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. An umbrella is being opened. B. People are eating hamburgers. C. A man is cooking on the grill. D. Some people are going on a picnic. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. She's turning toward the window. B. She's facing a screen. C. She's delivering the computer. D. She's lifting a keyboard. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. A playing field is illuminated by lights. B. A group of people is sitting on the bench. C. A sculpture has been placed by the sign. D. All the chairs are empty. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. An apartment building is under construction. B. There is a parking space full of cars. C. A balcony is attached to each apartment. D. There is a park in front of the building. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. An airplane is taxiing down the runway. B. Planes have landed on the ground. C. Passengers are exiting an aircraft. D. The airplane doors are being shut. Number ten. Look at the picture marked number ten in your test book. A. Tracks are being repaired. B. Passengers are standing on a platform. C. A train has pulled into the station. D. Some people are walking down the ramp. Part two. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear 
What is the seminar about? You will also hear A. I am afraid I can't attend the seminar. B. The effective way to manage time. C. No, it is cancelled. The best response to the question, What is the seminar about? is choice B. The effective way to manage time. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. Would you like to go to a musical with us? A. No, I have some things to do. B. I'd like to know. C. Yes, he made it right. Number 12. Where does Mitch live? A. He shut it down. B. On the east side of town. C. Every weekend. Number 13. When will the safety demonstration take place? A. For new employees. B. In a week. C. I will take that one. Number 14. Who is going to speak at the seminar tomorrow? A. Catherine from head office. B. It's nice to see you. C. Yes, at 2 30. Number 15. Why is it so cold in the office today? A. The heater is out of order. B. No, he is not here today. C. We will be ready by this afternoon. Number 16. Could you help Mr. Davis with the photocopier? A. I think he is. B. Yes, she won it. C. I'd be happy to. Number 17. Who is the new manager? A. His name is Jeff. B. Monday afternoon. C. In the cafeteria. Number 18. When will the recent unemployment figures be available? A. $100 Canadian dollars. B. Yes, they will. C. In three days. Number 19. Why are you getting up so early? A. Yes, I am too. B. I have a meeting this morning. C. Is that where you worked before? Number 20. Excuse me, which way is it to the sales department? A. Yes, the department store is having a big sale. B. He didn't move to the office. C. Down here on the right. Number 21. This company was established about 10 years ago, wasn't it? A. That's correct. B. Was the result satisfactory? C. I sent the documents. Number 22. How often do you go away on business? A. Usually to meet with clients. B. I think he's away from his desk right now. C. Two times a month. Number 23. Are you going to the assembly plant? A. It's still broken. B. Yes, but I'm going to be a little late. C. Right this way, please.
Number 24. How long is the book publication going to be delayed? A. Probably by train. B. We are still not sure. C. $20 for international shipping. Number 25. Have you prepared the survey or should I do it? A. That's not what we wanted. B. I don't have time, do you? C. You can go first. Number 26. What's a one way trip fare from Seattle to Seoul cost? A. It's the Arts and Craft Fair. B. Yes, it's a long flight. C. About $1,200 US dollars. Number 27. I thought Ms. Katrina was supposed to lead the seminar. A. No, she is on maternity leave. B. I've already read it. C. I got here today. Number 28. Where should I sign? A. Write your name. B. Five copies, please. C. In the bottom right hand corner. Number 29. That's a new dress you're wearing, isn't it? A. Yes, I had a special event to attend today. B. I didn't hear about it. C. No, thanks. I've already tried it. Number 30. Why don't you stay a couple of days in Paris after the marketing convention ends? A. No, it was two days. B. They have a great marketing plan. C. Actually, I'm planning to do exactly that. Number 31. Should we call the Hong Kong office today or should we wait until tomorrow? A. I've got caller ID. B. Let's call the waiter now. C. I'd say today. Number 32. Doesn't Mr. Naden work in the accounting department? A. The numbers don't match. B. Yes, he is the director. C. He departs at 10. Number 33. It's supposed to be hot today, isn't it? A. Maybe we should get them. B. The store opens at 9. C. Yes, but it's going to get cool in the evening. Number 34. If you need more information, please let me know. A. That's all right. B. No, they're his. C. Thanks, I will. Number 35. I thought you had already arrived in London. A. Should I leave them in your office? B. Seven passengers. C. My flight was delayed, actually. Number 36. Do they have enough funding left for the experiment? A. Yes, approximately 120,000 euros. B. Bigger ones, please. C. No, on their left. Number 37. Will Mrs. Evelyn retire this year or next? A. I'm tired. B. She is planning to leave this June. C. Yes, one new tire.
Number 38. Why was Mr. Brown not attending the meeting this morning? A. Yes, it was good. B. He's got a doctor's appointment. C. Around 11 o'clock. Number 39. A security guard's always on duty in the lobby. A. No, it was on the first floor. B. We delivered tables as well. C. Right, and they ask visitors to show ID. Number 40. Didn't Mr. Stephen collect the insurance paperwork last week? A. You corrected his paper yesterday. B. It's made of plastic. C. I think he did. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. I can't believe the train hasn't come yet. I wonder what's wrong. I'm going to be late for my meeting. The ticket agent said the tracks are being worked on, and it's causing delays up to 45 minutes. It would be nicer if they would adjust their timetable according to the expected delays. Well, this train is usually quite reliable. This is the first time that it has happened in a long time. That's true. I take the train because it goes just a few streets from the bank I work at. In my five years as a bank teller, I've never been late. Number 41. What seems to be the problem? Number 42. What is the cause of the problem? Number 43. Who most likely is the man? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, is this where we're supposed to meet for the city bus tour? Yes, but the tour is not leaving for 30 more minutes. Have you already purchased your ticket? The sales counter is over there. Yes, I bought my tickets online already. But since we still have time till the tour starts, I'll get something to eat. Are there any places to eat nearby? Sure. There's a snack stand behind the outdoor theater, but everything they sell is fried. If you walk one block down, though, you'll find Mane Cafe, which has really good sandwiches and desserts. They have a brie and cranberry croissant sandwich that is to die for. Number 44. What are the speakers mainly talking about? Number 45. According to the man, what did the man do online? Number 46. What will the man most likely do now? Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hello, welcome to Craig's. Can I help you with anything? Oh, yes. I'm looking for a new suitcase. I think I like this one best. I'm not crazy about the straps, but the size and shape seem right for me. Does it come in red? I'm not particularly interested in the colour you have here. Yes, this one does actually come in dark red. It's the most popular one we have, which is why we're already out of that colour. Nobody seems to want any other colour. I can go and check in the storeroom and see if we still have a dark red one in stock. Number 47. Where are the speakers? Number 48. 
What does the man inquire about with the woman? Number 49. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Liz, I need a favor. We have five new interns coming in today for an orientation, but James forgot to order their lunches. You know how we always have to place the order the day before. Well, I can go to the cafe across the street and buy some bread. Most people like those better anyway. It shouldn't take very long. Thanks. That sounds great. We should finish the orientation by one, so we'll need the lunches after that. Oh, and make sure you get a variety of sandwich choices in case we have some picky eaters. Number 50. What seems to be the problem? Number 51. What will the woman most likely do next? Number 52. What time is the orientation supposed to end? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm a guest here at the hotel and I'm having a horrible day. I lost my mobile phone and I need to make an international phone call. Could you tell me what the cost will be to call directly from my room? I'm so sorry. With international calls, it depends on which country you are planning to call. It can cost anywhere from 4 to $5 per minute. Hmm, that seems rather expensive. Is there any cheaper way to make an international call from here? Well, the gift shop in the lobby sells calling cards. Those are usually cheaper, and you can call from your room that way. Also, where did you lose your mobile phone? Have you checked with Lost and Found? Number 53. Where are the speakers most likely at? Number 54. What is said about the woman from the conversation? Number 55. What does the man recommend that the woman do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Jessica. I'm sorry I had to leave the meeting early yesterday, but I had to go to the dentist. I've been having such awful tooth pain, and then I found I have to get a root canal. Anyway, what did I miss during the second half of the meeting? Sorry to hear about your tooth. Root canals are no fun. I've had one before. Well, anyway, at the meeting, the main topic of discussion was the upcoming schedule changes. We're going to start keeping the store open later during the busy tourist season. Shoppers just don't stop. That's an excellent idea. But will that mean I have to work more hours? I'm taking a computer class, so I'm not sure that I can work extra hours. No problem. I'm planning to hire some part-time employees to help out in the store for the next two months. Didn't you say your sister was looking for some extra work? Number 56. What are the speakers mainly talking about? Number 57. Why is the man hesitant about working extra hours? Number 58. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. It's been such a hectic week, hasn't it? I'm so glad it's a three-day weekend. My family is going camping. I'm really looking forward to the time away. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Yes, well, sort of. I have a ticket for the music festival on Saturday. I try to go every year. It's out in Oliver Live Park, but I've got a problem. My sister was supposed to drive me there, but something came up. Now she has to meet with a client in the city that day, so I don't have a ride anymore.
Oh, I'm sorry your sister can't take you, but you know there's a shuttle on the weekends that goes to that park every hour. You can catch it on 9th Street in front of the supermarket. By the way, what kind of music is being played at the festival? Number 59. What is the woman talking about? Number 60. What seems to be the woman's problem? Number 61. What does the man recommend as a solution? Question 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. I just got an email from Mr. Marshall. He says we're ready to go ahead and introduce our new line of laptop computers this June. He wants us to start planning the launch event now. Now? I thought we'd have a couple more weeks at least. Well, I still have a guest list from our last marketing event. Are we inviting the same people? Yes, but have twice as many clients now, so we have to add all those people to the list. I'll tell the marketing department that they should start preparing a new product demonstration. They're always excited to show off their work. Sounds good. I'll check us into the Hyatt Hotel for the venue. Number 62. What are the speakers talking about? Number 63. According to this conversation, what is true about the list? Number 64. What will the man most likely do next? Question 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. These flower arrangements are really beautiful. I love the orchids. But you don't have very many of them on display here. Do you have any more of them? I need enough arrangements for eight tables. These are the only ones we have already arranged, but we can make as many as you need. When do you need them? Well, I'm organizing a farewell party for my assistant that starts at six tomorrow evening. But I want to start the decorations earlier, though. Can you have them ready by, say, noon tomorrow? And you deliver, don't you? Certainly. We offer free delivery for all our orders over $50, and noon tomorrow is not a problem. However, since it is short notice, we do have to add a rush charge of 5% to your total cost. Do you still want to place the order? Number 65. What are the speakers talking about? Number 66. When will the event start? Number 67. Why is an extra charge being applied? Question 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Mary, we need to talk about office space. We've got two new editors starting next week, and I'm concerned that we don't have enough room for them on this floor. I thought about that too. We have a couple empty offices upstairs. Why don't we move Daniel and Thomas up there, and then we'll have space for the new editors down here? That way we can keep the editorial department all together. I considered that option, but we're always using Daniel and Thomas for our administrative work, even though they're not editors. Someone would have to keep going up and down the stairs. That's true. But Daniel and Thomas also do administrative work with the fashion photographers upstairs, and I, for one, don't mind walking up and down the stairs a couple of times a day. It's good for your health. Number 68. What seems to be the problem? Number 69. What does the woman suggest the man do? Number 70. Who most likely are Daniel and Thomas? Part 4. Directions. 
You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Question 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Tired of your old vacuum cleaner? Are you spending too much time cleaning your carpet? Try the new Nixon N10 vacuum cleaner. The N10 is lightweight and cleans your floor in half the time as your old heavy cleaner. It's adjustable for use on any kind of carpet or floor surface. Use it on carpets, wood, linoleum, tiles, and more. Recently featured in a new product section of Best Electronics magazine, the N10 is the hottest new vacuum on the market. You'll wish you had this vacuum 10 years ago. And if you call to order yours today, you'll receive a 20% discount off the retail price. The Nixon N10 is not available in stores, so call 521-5675 to order yours today. Number 71. What product is being advertised? Number 72. In what publication was the product recently introduced? Number 73. What is offered to people who place an order today? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Attention all employees. This is a reminder that assembly lines 4 and 5 will shut down at 2 o'clock today so that some machinery can be replaced with new equipment. This new equipment should be ready for operation by tomorrow morning. Employees regularly scheduled to work on those lines will review operating guidelines for the new equipment with our training manager, Tony Luong. He'll meet you next to the cafeteria in training room 1 at 2.30. Please be on time. Again, assembly lines 4 and 5 will shut down at 2 o'clock today and employers will meet at 2.30 for training. Number 74. Where does this announcement most likely take place? Number 75. According to the announcement, what is planned to happen at 2 o'clock? Number 76. Who is Tony Long? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following report. Good morning, and thank you for listening to FMCG Radio. The Transportation Department has announced that starting tomorrow, Route 123 will be closed due to construction. Please be advised that this route will be completely inaccessible. We advise drivers to take Piper Road until the project is completed at the end of the month. Detour signs will be posted in the morning. Keep listening to FMCG Radio for regular updates of the construction project. And remember, for the most current traffic conditions, tune in for reports every half hour. Number 77. What is this report mainly talking about? Number 78. According to the report, what are listeners advised to do during the period? Number 79. What should the listeners do if they want to get updated information? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Kingston Symphony Orchestra's first concert this season. We regret to inform you that our program this evening must be postponed by 30 minutes. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Unfortunately, our guest violinist, Albert Chans, was caught up in traffic. In order to provide you with the best performance possible, we'd like to give her a chance to warm up backstage. In the meantime, we provide you with some pre-recorded music we encourage you to read about tonight's violin concerto. 
In the program, you will find excellent background information written by our very own symphony conductor, Matt Paines. You'll find the article on page 5. Again, we apologize for the inconvenience. Number 80. Where most likely does the announcement take place? Number 81. What is the problem? Number 82. According to the announcement, what is true about Matt Paines? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following speech. Good morning, everyone. I know you have a lot of work to do, so let's start the meeting. First, I'm happy to announce that two new photographers will be joining our publicity department soon. They have excellent experience that should add good, creative input to our team. If any of you can help with their training next week, I'd really appreciate it. Just email me to let me know when you can be available to help. The other thing I need to mention is that everything is right on schedule for next month's release of the new line of stationery we created earlier this year. The advertising team has been working especially hard to make next month's product launch go smoothly. We believe this is our best line yet and expect it to be a big hit. I've asked Jake from the advertising department to show you what they've been working on. Jake, I'll let you take it from here. Number 83. In what department does the speaker most likely work? Number 84. According to the speech, how can the listeners help the speaker? Number 85. What is expected to happen next month? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Good afternoon. This message is for Sam Bakies. This is Christina calling from Dr. Bing's office. I'm calling to confirm your appointment with the dentist this Tuesday, February 20th at 1030. Please remember that your appointment will last about one hour since we'll be taking x-rays, as well as cleaning and examining your teeth. Other routine visits will be much shorter, of course. It's just your first visit that takes some time. We also ask that you arrive 15 minutes early to complete the new patient questionnaire and other paperwork. Please bring your insurance information with you, as well as contact information for your last dentist if you have it. If you have any questions or need to reschedule, please call the office. We'll be open until 6 o'clock this evening. Number 86. Why did the speaker leave this message? Number 87. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 88. Why should the listener arrive early? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following speech. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to LLG Electronics. My name is John Hattie. I am the manager for the sales department here. Let me start off by expressing how pleased we are to have you here on your first day with LLG Electronics sales team. We believe that each one of you has so much that you bring to our team, and we look forward to you implementing your talents in creative ways to enhance our production. Since you've already received your company manuals, we'll start off today by reviewing the top priorities for our department. Of course, as with any sales department, there are a number of policies and procedures to remember, so don't worry about employing all of them at once. Simply do your best and be sure to consult with any of our veteran employees if you are unsure of the proper measures to follow. After we discuss a few of the most important policies, we will have a short lunch break at 11.30. Then, in the afternoon, you'll meet the supervisor you will be working with. Number 89. Where most likely is this speech being made?
Number 90. What has been given to the listeners? Number 91. What will listeners do after the lunch break? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following advertisement. East Moon Art Supplies is pleased to announce the opening of our newest store in Tinkerton. We look forward to serving this new community with the same standards of excellence that we bring to all of our locations. To celebrate our grand opening, we're hosting a special art contest this Saturday. We encourage everyone to submit a work of art, and visitors to the store that day will vote on their three favorites. This may be your chance for the recognition you've been waiting for. One lucky contest winner will receive $1,000 and get free lessons with some renowned artists. This is a great chance to hone your skills while simultaneously contributing to the culture of the community. For a complete schedule of all the fun activities we have planned for our grand opening, please visit our website at www.eastmoonartsupplies.com. We hope to see you there. Number 92. What is the advertisement promoting? Number 93. What is the prize for the contest winner? Number 94. What information is available on the company's website? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk. Thank you for attending this important meeting on such short notice. Sparing no time at all, the Sales and Marketing Division just informed me that the deadline for the finished website design has been moved up to Friday. This new date is much earlier than we anticipated, but the managers are confident that having the new website ready before the end of the week will give us an unequivocal edge over the competition. My assignment is to ensure that this project is completed efficiently. You will receive overtime pay for any extra hours you work in the next couple of days. Bring any problems or concerns to my attention immediately. Also, suspend all other projects until this one is finished. If you have completed your part of the project, please email my assistant. There are still a lot of sections that need more work before Friday's deadline. Number 95. What is this talk mainly about? Number 96. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 97. What should the listeners do if they complete their work before the deadline? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following broadcast. This is Lauren Mills, host of One World Here on ABC Radio. We have an exciting program for you this morning. Professor Anita James is a research psychologist at Bergen University, and she will be talking with us today about advertising's most effective way celebrity sponsorship. Now, you probably all know that when a celebrity promotes a product, more people are likely to purchase it. Endorsements from famous athletes, handsome actors, or anyone whom shoppers recognize will increase product sales. Do you know why? Well, Professor James has just published her research that examines the reasons a celebrity's influence can be so emphatic. She will reveal the results of the study with us after this commercial break. Number 98. Who is Anita James? Number 99. What is the program mainly about? Number 100. What is mentioned about Anita James? This is the end of the listening test.